Hello everyone. So I'm going to talk about revolutionizing autism spectrum disorder diagnosis, the frontier of AI and machine learning innovations. I am Antonio Lima Júnior, medical doctor, neuroradiologist. I received the, a Master of Science at ICANN, the School of Medicine. Currently, I'm a scientific coordinator at the largest private health system in Latin America. And also, I am American Society Neuroradiology Committee member. For this, specifically for this project, I have collaborated with my colleague, Vaya Itani. He is an engineering who received the um, graduation from American University at Beirut, and he spent some time working and learning about the quantum computing in China. We have no disclosure for this presentation. Let's start discussing a little about autism spectrum disorder. What is autism spectrum disorder? Autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, is a complex neurodevelopmental condition with a strong genetic basis. Although the exact cause remains partially understood, genetic studies have identified several risk genes associated with ASD, indicating a significant hereditary component. The disorder is characterized by a combination of symptoms that includes challenges in social interaction, communication, and repetitive behaviors, and restrict interest. The genetic architecture of ASD is diverse, with both common and hair genetic variants contributing to its risk. Studies have shown that specific SNPs and copy number variation are linked to to an increased risk of ASD. For instance, meta-analysis have identified SNP in genes like MTHFR, CNTNAP2, OXTR, and VDR, associated with ASD susceptibility. The genetic findings underscore the heterogeneity and the complexity of the ASD genetic underpinnings. In addition to genetic, genetic factors, environmental influence in their interaction with genetic predisposition are also believed to play a role in the development of ASD. This highlights the multifactorial nature of ASD, where a combination of genetic and environmental factors contribute to its pathogenesis. I brought here one interesting uh, environment aspect, its advanced paternal age, for example, men in their 30 are reported to be 1.6 times more likely to father a child with ASD compared to men under 30. It's a myth believed that ASD is a hair condition because according to the CDC, ASD affects one in 44 children here in the United States. ASD symptoms. The symptoms is characterized by a wide range of symptoms. It's one of the most challenging for the diagnostic, which can vary significantly from person to person. However, there are core areas that these symptoms generally fall into, like a social communication interaction and restrict and repetitive patterns of behaviors, interests, or activities. Regarding the social communication interaction, usually difficult in back and forth conversation, challenges with understanding or maintaining eye contact, facial expression or nonverbal communication, difficulties in developing and maintaining relationship appropriate for the development level. And regarding the restrictive and repetitive patterns of behavior, we have a repetitive motor movements, use of objects or speech like, like echolalia, insistence of sameness, inflexible adherence to routines or ritualized patterns of behavior, highly restricted fixed interests that are abnormal in intensity or focus, and also hyper or hypo reactivity to sensory input or unusual interest in sensory aspects, like, for example, indifference to pain. The severity of ASD is often described, described in terms of the level. We have three levels. 
Le level one require support, and level two require substantial support, and the level three require very substantial support. This classification is based on the American Psychiatric Association. Why is important the early diagnosis of ASD? For several reasons. For because we can have a early intervention capitalize on, on, on neuroplasticity because in child we have a much better neuroplasticity than the elderly pay persons improving quality of life reducing stress for families it's a, a challenge for the parent to accept the diagnosis educational planning preventing secondary conditions economic impact because we can prepare for example the the population asd population to join in the a work environment and beneficial for overall family dynamics. As I said, the diagnosis is a challenge because the parents usually uh, do not accept the, the diagnosis, also due to the wide spectrum of symptoms and severity. And as we know, AI can analyze patterns and behavior and genetics assist in, in early and more accurate ASD diagnosis. AI involves, involves create algorithms to analyze data, learn from it, and make predictions or decision. In healthcare, AI is used for disease detection, patient care management, and personalized medicine. And AI can enhance the diagnostic accuracy and efficiency crucial for conditions like ASD. I brought some device that we already have in the, the market. This technology was published last year. The technology in question is an AI-based medical device designed for the diagnosis of ASD. It employs sophisticated algorithms that analyze behavior features identified and predictive for ASD. The device integrates inputs from multiple sources, including caregivers and clinicians, to provide an output that indicates whether ASD is present. In 2017, the scientists at the University of Missouri found that children diagnosed with ASD share common facial feature distinctions from children who are not diagnosed with the condition. This study uh, found that, for example, children with autism have unusual broad face, broad upper face, including wide set eyes. And they also have a short middle region of the face, including the cheeks and nose. Here in this picture, we can see this white line is, is large in the SD patients and the black line is short. In the left picture, we can see uh, children with autism, spectral disorder, and the other, the right side, without. Based on this study, uh, some deep learning approach have been published using deep learning models like MobileNet to analyze facial features for early signals of ESD. It provide a non-invasive and quick, quick screening method potentially increasing the accessibility to early diagnosis. And in this case, like uh, facial features, it, it's very important to remember regarding the ethno-racial inclusivity in model development because we need to avoid uh, racial bias with the facial characteristics. This paper by Mohamed Parsa introduced a uh, deep learning model that classified children as either healthy or potentially having autism with 94% of accuracy using facial image analysis. The study leveraged a data set of over 3,000 images split evenly between children with and without ASD, utilizing a model uh, on a mobile net and two dense layers. The author proposed that ASD diagnosis can potentially be conduct effectively using just a facial image, which could lead to more efficient and cost-effective screen methods. We have this other paper published by Angelina. This paper uh, also uh, deep learning based on facial images for early SD screen. 
the model demonstrates 96% of accuracy. And me and Vael, my colleague, we are developing our deep learning model. Our research question is, is the performance of quantum algorithms superior to that of deep learning models in the classification of diagnosis of ASD from facial images considered aspects for the performance? Um, we... The study comp uh, involves a comparative analysis of two approaches, a, a conventional deep learning that we have right now, and we are implementing the quantum computing algorithm for the classification of ASD based on the facial characteristics. The data set is, this, is the same. We are using the data set with 3,000 uh, images with a, a diverse, diverse data set. 3,000 imagined of both children with and without autism. The training, test, and validation subcategories are further split into autistic and, and non-autistic. A deep learning model search, we have a, use a convolutional neural network architecture, and we are using the transfer learning from the, the other colleagues like a Google Net, SkizNet, and AlexNet, and right now we have developed also the VGG16. What is quantum computing? Uh, quantum computing is a, a, an advanced computing paradigm that utilizes the principles of quantum theory, such as superposition and entanglement, uh, to process information. Basically, in the classical computing, we have two bits, like a zero and one. And in the quantum computing, we have the qubit. The qubit can be zero and one at the same time. For this reason, it is called a superposition. Quantum computers have the potential to solve certain problems much more quickly than cl classical computers. They excel particularly in tasks that involve large data sets, in, in our case, complex simulation and optimi optimization problems where classical computers would take an impractical amount of time. And quantum neural networks are a type of artificial uh, artificial neural network that use principles of quantum computing. They operate using qubits instead of classical bits. And quantum neural networks are capable of processing complex and high dimension data more efficiently than traditional neural network due to the computational advantages of quantum mechanics, such as superposition and entanglement. And also we have using this approach, the quantum analysis for feature selection. The quantum analysis is a method used to find the optimal solution for a problem by exploring all possible solutions simultaneously and gradually reducing to the best solution. When applied to feature selection, quantum annealing can quickly sift through a vast number of potential features, the, the variables, in a data set to identify those, those most relevant for the task, such as the autism spectrum disorder classification facial imaging. This is particularly useful, useful in high dimension data scenarios where traditional methods might be computationally intensive or less effective. By employing quantum neural network with quantum annealing, we can effectively select features that are most indicative of ASD, potentially leading to a more accurate and efficient diagnostic model. Both the classical deep learning model and the quantum algorithm have been evaluated uh, on the same data set for fair comparison. And we also have evaluated uh, the quantitative metric for both accuracy, precision, recall, F1 scores, and also area on the curve. In conclusion, we are exploring the transformative potential of AI and quantum computing in the early diagnosis of ASD focusing on advanced methodologies like a quantum neural network and quantum analysis for feature selection. This integrate of could add technology promise to refine diagnostic accuracy and haze early intervention strategies and ultimately improve the quality of life for individuals with ASD. This is my contact. I, I'm happy if you have some question or if you, you are interested in learning more about our research, I will be very happy to, to answer. Thanks so much for your attention.